Welcome back to another episode of The Witness. The last time we conquered the jungle, uh, we noticed there was an ending up here and it seems to need to do it from the boat. Today we are going to go into this bunker thing and see what it has been stuff for us. So let's get going. Uh, pretty easy so, puzzle. Uh, new puzzle right there, same thing, easy one from what we know before. We need to separate. Uh, we need to separate the um, colors from each other. Let's have a look. Seems to be simple enough. So these are, I'm not sure what these are teaching us yet, because we know this stuff already. There's like no reason to go over this again. Uh, at least not uh, as I see it. Seems to be pretty simple stuff. This one. <clears throat> okay, so that looks a bit different now. Okay, so these are blue background. This is a grey background. That Matters. To separate all of them. But... Not to separate these. Actually, we need to go around these. And we need to go straight from here. As well. This doesn't make sense. And also we need to separate this one and this one. That's not possible either. We can't go like that and like that. Okay. So from here you can see the puzzle look quite different. These are all the same color they want over here. Okay. Okay, so if I go like this. Okay. I should do the same again, maybe. Let's see, yeah, can we do that? Go up here, we separate those. Up, down. No. This way then. 
Oh, over like that. Because we're not able to go back down to separate these from, from these. So these black ones need to stay. It has to be the last ones. Go like that, but then I can't get down to those. So do this down here. Except these and these from those, but I won't be able to go back up here. Uh, See there are only three colors. Uh, so if we go up and around like that, I should do it. Like this. <coughs> okay. This one. Let's first check this. Is there anything missing? It all seems the same. Okay, so try this first. Separate these. Nope. Can't separate this one. It's a single one in the middle. That's not possible. Maybe like that. Go up right here, down. Can't separate these red from that one. What I can see. Go over the red first, we can't separate them back because we have used this corner. This line right here. Those three are not a problem. Uh, this one, get these are different shapes of blue, as I can tell. Does this work? Oh, wait. Then you can see these are together, these three are together. Okay. That? Okay, yeah, there we go. So, go, that becomes green, I guess. So, yellow, blue. Um. Okay, what? What's the difference? So, we have uh, without light. Okay. No mind. Let's go have a look. Okay, I would 
seems to be the same. Alright, so I'm going to do this one last time. different colors so we can't do anything go back up uh, purple blue green blue tap on the color so that one turned more or less black purple blue stayed the same color <coughs> okay there we go this is simple enough so far. I wish we had the flashlight in this game by right now. <coughs> okay, there's a puzzle on the wall over here. Okay. Easy enough. It's an elevator, okay. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe six solutions to this. This is the floor that we just were at. And it slightly changed. giving green light. I'm assuming it's shining green light upon this. Uh, so it changed its colors. But no idea to what. So what do do? Uh, okay, so yellow, blue and uh, Whitish. I have one idea at the moment that we can try out with the three puzzles downstairs. Why couldn't I use this right now? There we go. Okay, so we run back down now. Um, so it's whitish. And it's blue and the yellow. So this one's yellow. Yeah. So I need to know this one. These. These, I guess. These three got the same color. Okay, so. Those from that color, those from mostly black, so just out looking. All those three are yellow slash white. Uh, 
I got the feeling like the whitish things back down to over again. So far as I remember, so that has a like that. And yeah, that was all the way up there, okay. Uh, let's do like that. Let's do that, I guess. Yellow. From what I can see, it should be like that. Oh, snap! That worked. Okay. So we could use what was downstairs to find out the solution for this room right here. See? That's the solution for this room. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, we're up. That's the laser. And how about you be just to... This one seems really simple at the moment. Go. Uh, that should be it. Right. Okay. So the solution was... That. So I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do right now. We could... Uh, let's take a trip up the mountain and have a look how it looks at the moment. Then in the next episode we can go... We can uh, take on the uh, town. And see what that brings us. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong one. It was the correct one again, huh? Is that? No, it was that. Um, wasn't it like that? There we go. Okay, so we are here now. Uh, let's take a trip up the mountain while we're checking if we can see any any sort of solutions. What's this? Oh, we're not going down the mountain. Uh, that's a um, metal puzzle. Anyway, okay, so that's one. Ah, that's the water thing. Nice, 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 nice. I noticed that one earlier. I assume these are for the... Wait, what pillar is this for? Have I found that pillar? Even? It can't be for the... Uh... It might be for the town, I guess? Unless there's a fifth one. Wait, we have the uh, desert one. We have the one by the trees. We have one outside uh, the castle where you have these. Ooh. Uh, where you have these. Uh, this. 
these are like no these are regular I guess because they are not different sizes. Are we going to draw from here? We are drawing both sides at the same time. So we need to pick up that one. That's the yellow one. Pick up this one. And I assume the yellow one needs to pick up the other yellow. So if we go over here. That. Wait, that's going to block us. Uh, we need to go further up right here. Like that. Then go up and over. We can go up like that. Go there. That should be it. There we go. Uh, we have uh, we have the pillar by um, desert, by uh, the trees thing. Uh, what the sawmill thing? Well, oh, one more of those solutions. So we need to remember this. Maybe we can finish this episode on that. Um, we have the one by the castle. We have one in the town. That's four. We have. Do one by the monastery or jungle. So that's five. And is there a sixth one somewhere? Is the jungle some oh, what's this? Oh come on! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Oh, that's one. You have, okay, so definitely, maybe the others are going there as well. So that's one right there that we need to find and check out. Uh, oh, those doesn't seem to go together right there. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're at the top. And that's basically just that thing down there. This seems promising. Okay. Whatever that does. Before we do that, okay, here's an audio log. So I'm going to play this while looking a bit more up here to see if we can find something. So I will be right back. Up there, you go around every hour and a half, time after time after time. You wake up usually in the mornings, and just the way that the track of your orbits go, you wake up over the Mideast, over North Africa. As you eat breakfast, you look out the window as you're going past, and there's the Mediterranean area, and Greece, and Rome, and North Africa, and the Sinai, the whole area. And you realize that in one glance, that what you're seeing is what was the whole history of a man for years, the cradle of civilization. And you go around down across North Africa and out over the Indian Ocean and look up at that great subcontinent of India pointed down toward you as you go past it. And Ceylon off to the side, Burma, Southeast Asia, out over the Philippines, and up across that monstrous Pacific Ocean. Vast body of water. You've never realized how big that is before. And you finally come up across the coast of California, and look for those friendly things. Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and on across El Paso. And there's Houston. There's home. And you look, and sure enough, there's the Astrodome. And you identify with that, you know? It's an attachment. And down across New Orleans, and then looking down to the south, and there's the whole peninsula of Florida laid out. And all the hundreds of hours you spent flying across that route, down in the atmosphere, all that is friendly again. And you go out across the Atlantic Ocean and back across Africa. And you do it again, and again, and again. And that identity, 
that you identify with Houston, and then you identify with Los Angeles, and Phoenix, and New Orleans, and everything. And the next thing you recognize in yourself is you're identifying with North Africa. You look forward to that. You anticipate it. And there it is. That whole process begins to shift of what it is you identify with. When you go around it in an hour and a half, you begin to recognize that your identity is with that whole thing. And that makes a change. You look down there and you can't imagine how many borders and boundaries you crossed again and again and again. And you don't even see them. At that wake up scene, the Mid East, you know there are hundreds of people killing each other over some imaginary line that you can't see. From where you see it, the thing is a whole, and it's so beautiful. And you wish you could take one from each side in hand and say, look at it from this perspective. Look at that. What's important? And so a little later on, your friend, again those same neighbors, another astronaut, the person next to you goes out to the moon. And now he looks back and sees the Earth, not as something big where he can see the beautiful details, but he sees the Earth as a small thing out there. And now that contrast between that bright blue and white Christmas tree ornament and that black sky, that infinite universe, really comes through. The size of it, the significance of it, it becomes both things. It becomes so small and so fragile and such a precious little spot in that universe that you can block it out with your thumb. And you realize that on that small spot, that little blue and white thing is everything that means anything to you. All of history and music and poetry and art and war and death and birth and love, tears, joy, games, all of it is on that little spot out there that you can cover with your thumb. And you realize that that perspective, that you've changed, that there's something new there. That relationship is no longer what it was. And then you look back on the time when you were outside on that EVA and those few moments that you had the time because the camera malfunctioned, that you had the time to think about what was happening. And you recall staring out there at the spectacle that went before your eyes. Because now you're no longer inside something with a window looking out at a picture, but now you're out there and what you've got around your head is a goldfish bowl, and there are no limits here. There are no frames. There are no boundaries. You're really out there, over it, floating, going 25,000 miles per hour, ripping through space, a vacuum, and there's not a sound. There's a silence, the depth of which you've never experienced before. And that silence contrasts with the scenery with which you know you're going. That contrast, the mix of those two things, really comes through. And you think about what you're experiencing and why. Do you deserve this? This fantastic experience? Have you earned this in some way? Are you separated out to be touched by God to have some special experience here that other men cannot have? You know the answer to that is no. There's nothing that you've done that deserves that, that earned that. It's not a special thing for you. You know very well at that moment, and it comes through to you so powerfully that you're the sensing element for man. You look down and see the surface of that globe that you've lived on all this time, and you know all those people down there. They are like you. They are you. And somehow you represent them when you are up there. A sensing element, that point out on the end. And that's a humbling feeling. It's a feeling that says you have a responsibility. It's not for yourself. The eye that doesn't see does not do justice to the body. That's why it's there. That's why you're out there. And somehow you recognize that you're a piece of this total life. You're out on that forefront and you have to bring that back somehow. And that becomes a rather special responsibility. 
It tells you something about your relationship with this thing we call life. And when you come back, there's a difference in that world now. There's a difference in that relationship between you and that planet, and you and all those other forms of life on that planet, because you've had that kind of experience. It's a difference, and it's so precious. And all through this, I've used the word you because it's not me. It's not Dave Scott. It's not Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, John Glenn. It's you. It's us. It's we. It's life. It's had that experience. And it's not just my problem to integrate. It's not my challenge to integrate, my joy to integrate. It's yours. It's everybody's. Russell Schweikart, 1975. <coughs> okay, so that was kind of a long monologue or audio log. And uh, as you probably noticed, we actually solved the puzzles up there while listening to that. And uh, even though we opened up the hatch, when you looked underneath the little uh, yellow box, you could see there were two more uh, locks that need to be unlocked. So we need to have two more lasers, I guess. So we need the uh, laser for the uh, town, and we maybe need this laser right there, because I don't know about any other lasers. So we need to find out how to get that laser up right there. But here's another audio log, so while I'm running around here and looking just uh, because I haven't been here yet and see if we can find more of these triangle puzzles or other audio logs, I'm going to play this audio log and see what we can find and I'm going to head over to the bottom of the windmill afterwards so we can do that puzzle, so that's the audio log. Oh Lord God. Helper of those who seek you, I see you in the garden of paradise, and I do not know what I see, because I see nothing visible. I know this alone, that I know that I do not know what I see, and that I can never know. I do not know how to name you, because I do not know what you are. Should anyone tell me that you are named by this or that name, by the fact that one gives a name, I know that it is not your name. For the wall beyond which I see you is the limit of every mode of signification by names. Should anyone express any concept by which you could be conceived, I know that this concept is not a concept of you. For every concept finds its boundary at the wall of paradise. Should anyone express any likeness and say that you ought to be conceived according to it, I know in the same way that this is not a likeness of you. So too, if anyone, wishing to furnish the means by which you might be understood, should set forth an understanding of you, one is still far removed from you. For the highest wall separates you from all these and secludes you from everything that can be said or thought, because you are absolute from all the things that can fall within any concept. Nicholas of Cusa, 1453. Okay, so we haven't found anything yet. There's no environmental puzzles or anything like that. Far as I can see, uh, no new audio logs. There's nothing at the moment. Okay, so let's head back over here. And we can take the shortcut. Let's have a look. And let's check out this one as well. I think we can solve this one now. Okay, so we have two and two. Uh, two and two. So if we do that, those, guess, and uh, so 
think about that, but I don't. Uh, the black one and this white one is in the same box, so we need to find another way to deal with these two. Hmm. How might oh, wait do like that? That should fix that. Can do like this. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so all we find in here is another one of these puzzles. Uh, quite simple. That's it. You got to be kidding me. So let's head down here to the darkness. We go. These lines kind of look like the camp used for a puzzle somehow. Uh, the stuff right there as well. I guess. Okay, so I took a screenshot of the solution we had, and I think maybe we had something else as well, so I'll be right back, just a second. So I have it now, that was two solutions. Uh, we had one earlier where we found, let me think, where did we find that one? We found that one by, I actually don't remember. Uh, at least we found this um, that went left and it went round like that all the way around. I assume this is a very long video. So I am going to do like that at the moment. Then I'm going to do this other one which starts right here. And when looking at it it goes left past two what goes in over this one? Found to ah, yes. Set. Go. We're going to do the same for that one. So we're going. We need two more of these before we have that. I wonder actually if because we have half a circle right there. And there's also in a circle right there, half a circle, or half a circle even, it's like quarter of a circle. I wonder if there's some kind of... You see there's an ending right there. So I wonder if there's a puzzle using the videos, maybe? But that would probably take a look. Just think about it, if there's a puzzle within this one, I would guess this one takes like at least uh, half an hour to finish. So we 
need to stay tuned to find whatever fits this thing. It's kind of insane. Is there anything else around here? That I can see. Yeah, so anyway, we have that one. And we need to get to the town, so we should just run back out right here. This thing also has something to do with the... I mean, if the other one can have anything to do with, uh, with the video, maybe this one has on from the backside right here. Somehow, but I can't see an ending. So I'm not sure about that. It doesn't seem like anything is an ending right now. Oh well, we'll have a look at that uh, later on, I guess. But I'm not sure if I'm going to record that, if it's like... 30 minutes video just to watch... Watch those videos and do it, I'm not sure. Okay, so we have the pillar right here. We have finished one on that. Two, three. We have finished a couple and we know some. Like this one. We need to be in the boat. That one, we need to be in the boat. Yes, shoe. So we are going to start this thing. Wait, can we get up there? This one. Huh? What does this do? So that one does that. We need that to hit the laser. Uh, so I'm gonna guess. Oh, let's test out everything that hits the laser. Maybe this does. We can finish off by. By doing this. Okay, the laser. Next. That's not where we want to go. Oh, that's close. The next one should hit. Let's see what it does. Okay. Wait just a minute. Isn't that the black cloud? Yeah, okay. So that laser turns... What? Am I supposed to have the laser on the cloud then? I would assume... I will assume that, but, okay, so, let's, I would guess that has to be like an environmental puzzle from somewhere, that something is forming like a puzzle from a specific position on the island. Yeah, because we noticed, um, I remember now, when, it, actually last episode, I guess, when we were in the jungle and looked, it looked like something formed almost like a puzzle, but uh, didn't really. So we needed to find uh, someone else to do it from. But uh, we'll just keep that in mind that we can turn that white, I guess. Uh, this is where I saw a puzzle. Okay, so we are going to start off with this one when we, um, in the next episode. So I see you all next time. Bye-bye.